I have been getting so many questions about buttermilk, what it is, why I use it, and how you can make it yourself at home if you can't easily access it. So buttermilk is basically the liquid that's left behind after cream is churned to make butter. But the version that you find in most grocery stores today is actually curdled buttermilk, which is not a byproduct of churned butter. But instead, good bacteria is added to milk and then it's left to ferment. This results in a thicker, tangier kind of milk, which is is absolutely amazing for baking soft and fluffy cakes. Now the reason why it's so great is because one, the acid in buttermilk reacts with baking soda and this helps to create tiny air bubbles that helps the batter rise resulting in a lighter and more tender texture. And secondly, the acidity of the buttermilk helps to tenderize the gluten in the flour by breaking down the protein, which gives our baked goods a soft and tender crumb. Now if you can't easily find buttermilk, you can really easily make a great substitute at home. So you just want to grab a cup of milk, remove one tablespoon of it and add in one tablespoon of white vinegar then just give it a stir and let it sit for five to ten minutes so this will give you exactly one cup of buttermilk but if you don't need to be so super precise about it then you can just add one tablespoon of vinegar to one cup of milk and you can also use one tablespoon of fresh lemon juice if you don't have white vinegar so 10 minutes later this is what my mixture looks like so it's a little curdled which is what we want and that is basically it so I hope this little quick tip helped you guys out and I'll see you in the next video.